Hi, I'm Christy and welcome to my channel, Christy Reads A Lot. This is not gonna lie, probably the 97th take now of trying to film my first intro video here on my YouTube slash booktube channel. I've been wanting to start a channel for probably like a year and a half now and decided that since it's a new month today, it's May 1st, that I would give it a try. So hopefully this is the final take that makes it onto my channel. So thanks so much for joining me on this journey and I can't wait to chat all the books going forward with you. Let's see, to get to know me, my name is Christy and I live in Alaska. I've been married for going on 14 years this year. We have a nine-year-old daughter and I've always just loved reading. Um, my earliest book memories are being in elementary school, like third and fourth grade. I remember we'd get assigned um, book chapters like for books like The Giver and The Martian Chronicles and I remember reading those and then wanting to read past that and just you know, devour the books. I loved them. I still have fond memories of those books. I've reread them like countless times over the years. And that's what really cemented like my love for reading when I was young. Um, my parents have always read. My grandparents read a lot too. Like my next book memories are being 12 and 13. We'd go in the summertime to go visit my grandparents and stay with them for like a month or two. And my grandma had shelves and shelves of books. And back then, her and my mom were super obsessed with V.C. Andrews and so they would let 12 or 13 year old Christy borrow them too. And yeah, those were like super messy, super toxic, super wild, like all the forbiddenness, um, just like a hot mess. But like 13 year old Christy gobbled those up and like that's what started my love for series binging, like just zooming past and binging all the series. Like I still love that today. and. After that, I read books like in high school, like that's when the Gossip Girl books were being published. So I read those. Um, later on was like Twilight. And just since then, I've just always read a ton of books. About three years ago is when I decided to start a Goodreads account. I had been, I've always like read, you know, hundreds of books in a year. And I started forgetting books I was reading. Like I'm pretty sure I checked out a book from Kindle Unlimited and realized like, I'm pretty sure I've already read this and so I was like you know what I need to start a Goodreads to track the books I'm reading at least you know to at least to note them as a read so like I had a place to remember the books I was reading um and then two years ago so like a year after starting Goodreads I decided to start a bookstagram account um I had always followed like a few creators anyways on there and decided you know what I already love Instagram I love taking pictures like this would be a good chance to take pretty pictures of books, post them, and also write like blurbs with them, which turned into my Goodreads reviews. Um, Cause I was like, okay, I'm already tracking the books, but now I need to like, you know, some of those like minor details, character names, like tropes, kind of forget them. Like when you're reading a lot of books in a month or a year. So I needed a way to track the books I was reading and remember details. <laughs> so I was like, this would be a good way to get me to write reviews. And so I've been, I write reviews for every book I read now um, for the past two years on Goodreads. And it's been a fun time meeting people on Instagram. People are super nice. I love the, the especially the romance book community there. Um, it's just really fun. And that was when I decided, you know what, maybe I should start a YouTube too. That would be another way to branch out, have a bigger character limit to talk in, um, and just to meet new people, talk about more books, and just have another platform to create on and try out. So bear with me as I try this out. So I read all sorts of books, um, mostly romance books, as you can see behind me, like contemporary romance and historicals. Like, I love them. This is one of my favorite series right here, my my Wallflowers from Lisa Kleypas. Um, yeah, I just love romance books. So that's mostly what I talk about. But I do read other books like thrillers and um, let's see, fantasy, obviously, and just like any subgenre of romance I read. I'll pick up any book and read it. It just has to catch my interest. Um, I was first going to start, my first video was going to be like an April wrap up, but then I decided to sit down and talk about the 55 books I read in April. I didn't really feel like doing uh, for my first video. So I was like, let's start shorter and smaller, hopefully. I mean, I've been here for an hour now, but <laughs> we're, we're going with it. I decided to start with like a May TBR. So usually I don't really do a TBR, like I'm very much a mood reader. Um, I usually just pick up books that interest me or like if friends are posting about it on Bookstagram or other people on Booktube are talking about it, like 
if it catches my interest I'll usually read that book right away but I do have like a TBR exceptions are like um, book clubs readathons um, and just like books that are maybe coming out that month or whatever the case so I thought to start out on my channel a good intro video would be my May TBR or like books I definitely will get to in May and like the rest will be mood mood reads um, throughout the month so let's see here I'm gonna have my notes to pull up as I talk so first are the book club books I plan on getting to in May. Um, the Historical Hellions ran by Jess from Peace Love Books and Samantha from Books with Samantha. Their book club pick for May is um, Lorraine Heath's Texas Destiny. So I have both covers here, like the original is the nice shiny embossed one, which is kind of plain. And I actually prefer this cover, like the new print, like it's super pretty, that clinch cover. Um, so this is their book club pick. I've actually read this series last year and really loved it, but I might reread it just because they're reading it and then to join and chat on their live show. I love watching them um, talk about books. So I might read this this month. Well, I probably will um, as just like a reread. I first read this series last year. There's three and a half books in this series, which if I reread book one, I probably will continue on. So book one is Texas Destiny. Book two is Texas Glory. Book three is Texas Splendor. And then the novella, that's why it's like three and a half books, is Texas Legacy. So this series, um, the first book starts out as like a mail order bride situation. Um, it's set in Texas, obviously, Western historical romance series from Lorraine Heath. Um, the heroine is a mail order bride and she gets paired with so all the so these books follow brothers and all the brothers have their own book and their names are like Dallas, Houston, Austin like they're all <laughs> named after uh, Texas cities and so the heroine in the first book Amelia she gets paired up to be a mail order bride for one of the brothers but when she arrives there on train or wagon no train yeah she arrives there on train um she gets there and the older brother comes and picks her up instead of the brother she's supposed to be marrying and so then it becomes their romance and so it's got like a little bit of forbiddenness just because you know she's supposed to be engaged to the other brother but falls for this brother so then eventually all the brothers get their own books and then in this novella length book um it is so Lorraine re wrote this book 20 years after originally starting this series and this is like a next generation story so like in these series you end up following the Lee family for like 30 plus years it's a really great series I love it so I'll probably reread these just because they're reading this for the historical hellions book club the ravished by romance book club that Jess from peace love books and Lacey from Lacey book lovers is they're going to be reading um goddess of the hunt by Tessa Dare which is Tessa Dare's very first book. I've read all of Tessa's books except for her first two series, which this is her first book. So I'll probably read this one since it's one of their book cl club picks. So the heroine decided to go hunting for a husband, but first she needs some target practice. So she turns to her brother's best friend and he's an Earl. She wants to hone her seductive wiles on him before setting her sights on another man. But her practice kisses spark a smoldering passion, one that could send all her plans up in smoke. So this sounds super fun. Um, yeah, brother's best friend. I also try to participate in like any historical romance book club. Like I'm gonna try to participate in them because I love them. So for the Rake, Appreci Rake Appreciation Society ran by Crystals from Crystals Bookish Life and Jen from the Book Refuge, their pick is Diana Quincy's new book, um, The Marquess Makes His Move. So I will, I usually try to read their books too. Um, for their past few books I've already read them so this will be the first one in a while that I'm reading of theirs but yeah so this is book three in Diana Quincy's new series but since I haven't read book two The Viscount made me do it I will probably end up reading that book as well just because I'm obsessed with reading series and like books in order so that's what I'll probably read those so there's two readathons um in May that I plan on participating in and one of them is the first one, which is the Mafia Romance Readathon put on by Jen from the Book Refuge, Tiffany from 
Neverland Pixie on Instagram, but Tiff Talks pages on YouTube, um, Jess from Peace Love Books, Jessen from Smart Women Read Romance, Tori from Live a Novel Life, and Madison from Princess of Paperback. So those are the hosts, and I plan on participating this year. So I have a few books for those, and they have a super fun, like, build your own um, TBR bingo board situation. So they have, like, a ton of prompts, and you can pick what you want based on those. So that's from May 5th through May 8th, and I have a few picks for those. Violent Delights by Jessica Hawkins. I love this cover and I've been meaning to read this series forever. I read a few books by Jessica Hawkins now and I really liked some of them. Some were misses, some were hits, but I've heard great things about this series so I want to read this book. And this one I think meets the Mexican cartel um, prompt as well as, let's see, I vowed not to leave with him, my first love and best friend, but if his ruthless brother has his way, I won't leave at all. So the heroine is a cartel princess and she's in love with her best friend, but she gets paired, I think, with his brother instead. A Bullet Between Us by Kay Dossel, Dossel, I'm not sure how to say the author's name, but it is an Italian mafia one. I've heard, I think, a few of the hosts talk about it on their channel, so I wanted to read that one. Then another one is The Bratfa's Heir by Jane Henry and Sophie Lark. And this meets the prompts of Outsider to the Mafia, Capture Captive, The Bratfa, um, and Tattooed Hero. So that's what I plan on reading for the Mafia Romance Readathon, which should be super fun. I love Mafia Romance. Um, I'm probably, I will add on other books too, like as other people put out there, Rex or TBRs usually inspires me <laughs> to add other books to my TBR. So I'll probably be adding to it as I go. Also in May is the historical romance readathon put on by Jess from Peace Love Books, Lacey from Lacey Books Lovers, and Lisa from Remarkably Lisa. I've participated in this readathon every single time they've done it. I don't know if this is like the fourth, fifth, sixth time now, but they started it like two years ago and that's actually what made me start my bookstagram was to participate in all the like fun prompts they were doing for Instagram. So I love participating in this one and have, I think I have, well for sure, so usually what I do for their um, historical romance readathon is just pick up books that I want to read and then I'll try to see what prompts those meet like after the fact because a lot of historical romances like I just go in blind and just read them and then they'll usually meet like a couple of their prompts or whatever for their bingo board. But I'll definitely be reading The Lion's Lady by Julie Garwood. This is her or their group pick book for the readathon so I'll definitely be reading this one and let's see. I don't even know what this is about. I just know that I've read three Julie Garwood, Garwood books now, The Bride, The Secret, The Wedding, and I've loved all of those. Let's see, it says, the ravishing beauty guarded the secret of her mysterious past until the night lion stole a searching, sensuous kiss. An arrogant, arrogant nobleman with a pirate's passion, he tasted the wildfire smoldering beneath Christina's cool charm and swore to possess her. But the feisty and defiant Christina would not be so easily conquered. So yeah, definitely read this. I don't really need to know what it is. I just know I love Julie Gardwood and it's their group pick. And then again, for that readathon, it is May 9th through the 15th. And like I said, I'll probably just read whatever books and meet the prompts that match it later. So other books I plan on reading in May are, so the fourth book in The Plated Prisoner, um, it's called Glow and it's coming out in May by Raven Kennedy. I just read the first three books in this series just this past month and they were okay for me. I didn't like love them but I'm still interested because I can't quit and like I want to know what's gonna happen next so I'll probably be picking up that. Um, I also want to read Caution to the Wind, the new, what is it, the sixth, seventh book? Seventh book in Gianna Darling's Fallen Men series. I started reading this series like two or three years ago and then stopped halfway through and just finished up reading them this past month when uh, Jess and Tori did their Fallen Men read along, which was in prep for this seventh book. So I will read that one. I have books from the library as well. Like I do audiobooks. So I have a couple audiobooks out right now. So let me see what those are that I'll be reading. So one of which is Dating Dr. Dill by Nisha Sharma. So I want to read that one. I believe it's a Taming of the Shrew um, retelling that I've heard a lot of good things about. After that, I have checked out the two novellas in Allie Hazelwood's 
like novella stem series so I have below zero and under one roof I read the other one in the series which I am blanking on the name right now but I really liked that one I actually had read the love hypothesis last year didn't really love it it was okay for me but then I decided to try again with her novella series that everybody was loving and I actually really like those so I have those two checked out and then also I have Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie I've been meaning to get to. I really loved this book of the month uh, print they did for it. And I wanted to watch the new movie and, you know, read the book as well. Oh, and then Elisa Braden, I've been reading her Rescued from Ruin series. So I just read the first novella through fourth book this past month. And then I have like the fifth, fifth and half, which is a novella and the sixth book out from the library. So I'll probably be listening to those as well. And so then I'm currently reading um, the Salacious Players Club series. I just finished the first book, Praise, last night and I loved that. So I'm currently reading Eyes on Me, the second book in the series. Um, there's going to be four books in the series, like each of the four business owners of said Salacious Players Club are getting their own book. There's three heroes and one heroine that they own the business together, like a group of friends. And the first book was a lot of fun. So it's like a BDSM club slash kinks slash you know, adventure, try out your fantasies type of club that they're opening. So in the first book, the hero is 40 and the heroine is 21. And the heroine and her boyfriend at the beginning of the book, they break up and her boyfriend's like, hey, to get the security deposit back on our apartment, you need to go see my dad because he was like a co-signer or whatever on their apartment. And so he's like, you need to go see him if you want your deposit back. Like, I don't deal with him. So the heroine goes there and he the so the hero is her ex's dad <laughs> so it's like that he's 40 she's 21 has an age gap and she shows up at his place and he mistakes her for his new sub like he has a dom sub thing he mistakes her for like his new sub um interviewee and so <laughs> like she shows up and is like hey i need my money and he's like you need to drop to your knees <laughs> and so it starts from there and it's super fun like after a while obviously he figures out who she is and what she's doing there and freaks out because you know he's like what am I doing to my my son's girlfriend um but then he ends up kind of becoming obsessed with her and he offers her a job as his secretary like legit secretary and of course things get complicated I really like this one because the heroine um she's super open and curious and they communicate really well about like what they're into she's super curious about the club and he takes her there and of course you know lines get blurred. It had a couple moments like if you've seen the old movie with Maggie Gyllenhaal's secretary like I had moments like that where she's like you know crawling on the floor with like <laughs> papers in her mouth and like it's just a fun time. So I read that book loved it and now I'm reading the second book which is Eyes on Me. It follows one of the other business owners and this one is another forbidden-esque book because the hero is like um he's into voyeurism and he's watching like cam girls one night and he becomes interested in this one girl and then he realizes that's his stepsister <laughs> so it's gonna be their romance it's got an age gap there's like a 13 year age gap so like they never grew up together when their parents got married she lived with them and he was already in his 20s so like yeah they they never lived together but so it's their romance this is a new to me author but I can't wait to check out everything else that she writes and yeah, let's see, I think that is all the books that I plan to read in May. Well, that I know that I'm going to be planning to read on in May. Like I said, I usually mood read. So like, I'll pick up other books and read from there. But um, some books that come out in May that I read advanced readers copies of or ARCs that, you know, to gush about them, maybe put them on your radar if they're not already. So the first one is First and Forever by Eve Dangerfield. It's the third book in her Rebirth series. But they're all standalones and you can read them however you want. So when she reached out to me on Instagram offering me the book, I, I was like, yeah, I've read some of her books in the past and really enjoyed them. So this one is a set in Australia. The hero is a footballer and the heroine is an EDM DJ. And the hero from like the very beginning of the book, he's already obsessed and loves this DJ and he wants to meet her and they're at a club. And so he ends up meeting her. He wants like he's in love with her from day one and wants to be in her life and show her like how much he cares for her and she's kind of the more standoffish one and so it's kind of their romance and they have great communication um 
I liked the hero so he's described as a synodom hero and it was just a lot of fun to see him like take care of the heroine he's always trying to like feed her and make sure she's having a good time and like take care of her after her show it's on the shorter side um and there's also some like super yummy victorian doctor hysteria like role play situation they have going on <laughs> like eve always delivers on like super steamy times and the dirty talk and this book was no exception so another arc I read is called All Your Tomorrows and I'll put the author info up here this one is a debut um author novel and again the author reached out to me on Instagram and so I decided to try it out it's a contemporary romance and this one has anxiety rep rags to riches story um first love turned second chance found family set in New York they do travel to like Santorini and um, there's conversations about losing loved ones in here. There's a curvy heroine and then also the main characters were once in foster care And so they used to be neighbors. They had a little moment back when they were teenagers And now it's been I think like a decade or something since and they run back into each other and all those old feels like show up right away and This one was okay for me. Um, there are things I liked and things that Didn't work for me as well, but this one's on Kindle Unlimited if you wanted to check it out so the next two books I loved them. They both come out on May 24th. And the first one is The Bride Grows Rogue by Joanna Shoup. It's the third book in her Fifth Avenue Rebels series, which The Lady Gets Lucky from last year was one of my favorite reads of the year. And so I was super excited for this third book and I loved it just as much as the second book. So in this book, we have a hard-hearted tycoon and a romantic dreamer. So it starts out with the heroine, um, assuming she is engaged or like betrothed to the hero like their dads were business partners in the past and supposedly set up like this betrothal so she's been assuming they're getting married and she decides you know it's been a year I need to like meet with him and set down a date like let's get this going like I want to be married I want to start my life already so she shows up at the hero's office and is like hey we need to like figure out details for our wedding we need to figure out like the wedding date the venue and he's like um excuse me like we're not getting married like you thought that was serious we're, we're not marrying and so it kind of like rocks her world and she's like um what like I've planned my entire life around this <laughs> like or the last few years like I've been waiting for you like this is ridiculous so they become enemies and she takes off and leaves and then they end up meeting at a like super saucy French party going on at um Madison Square Garden like a French ball where it's all masks and fantasy is being lived out and so they meet there they're both in disguise and don't realize who each other is and they have like a super steamy passionate night so this one was like super steamy like probably the steamiest in Joanna's series so far um, all the couples and characters from the rest of this series make appearances in this book you also get to see a glimpse of a the couple of the next book which I believe is the last book in the series and then if you've read some of Joanna's other books, um, uh, Scandalous Steel, which is part of her 400 series. The char the heroine in that book, she's an architect and she makes an appearance in this book, which was super fun. Um, Joanna is one of my favorite authors. I've read all but like one of her books, which I need to finish, but <laughs> I love her books. And so definitely check out The Bride Goes Rogue, which is out on May 24th. And the other book that's out May 24th is another one that I love. It's A Daring Pursuit by Kate Bateman, which is the second book in her Ruthless Rivals series. The series is following two families that are like rivals they live in Wales and they have like this feuding family thing that's been going on for like 500 plus years <laughs> so the first book follows two people from the family and then the second book is also two people from the opposites families so it's enemies with benefits which was super fun um the heroine she has a kind of she like lead, leans into this scandalous reputation she has for reasons which come out in the book and the hero is the only one who kind of sees through her facade she's putting on for everybody else and it's their relationship they both have had like mutual pining they both had feelings for each other over the years and they hide them there's adventure and blackmail and just all sorts of fun in this series so that one is also out on May 24th and that is all of the books that I have read that come out in May or that I plan on reading in May. So again, this is my first video, so <laughs> bear with me um, as I go forward on my channel. Thanks for so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And yeah, so chat, chat later. <laughs>